So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. The pack falls away, but there are some worthy faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with his car.
You're no good! Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix with time. Yes! Jesus! Aggressive driving from Angelo. You're no good! With Rickenberg no longer a contender, the front three are jostling for position. What? Jesus! Him? Garcia, Garcia struggles on the bend. This could 
Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Nah, but uh. Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe.
Duma made that well easy to Tatami. When they just started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> that win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Colettis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrassed himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? Hmm. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly You're a natural wheel man, Tom. We seen Polly anywhere, Vin. He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the booze. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> Great race, champ. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dope, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. This your first time at the trek? Last year I heard the motors for my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll start to try to clear us out before dark, but ignore us. The party won't stop. How'd she drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? We came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. These things get faster every year. Faster, yes. Entertaining, no. Some years, it feels like a parade. You calling that race a parade? Ah, <laughs> well, no. Maybe not. Not this year. Oh, thank Christ you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. 
Now you're even a, some kind of race car driver. But you all got a... Doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's race. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim at the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's... there's a blue sign. You're gonna need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. Uh, home? Brought me home. Maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good.